mic's on. Omar. Omar, drop it. Yes! Good man. Dirty dog stuff. Abner in the building. Yo. What up? Hey, what's up, vlog? What up? How's that? Last night was an audible. I drew the front of the Detroit shirt, but I didn't like it. Here, so I drew a new front. So what, he's just finishing that now? No, I haven't seen it. How could I see? Just Scruff sending it to me? Oh, whoa. Jeez. Wait, is it gonna be where? Right here in the middle. Oh, that's bad. Yeah, it's way better. I know you're stressed. But... I'm not, you know, the good news is all the other shirts are arriving today and the production. As soon as we get this front design. Yeah, that's what we're waiting on. Uh, Scruff said like an hour he'll be done with everything. I kind of need to go get a pelican case. Trap on a tattoo this much. I was going to order one online, but I can't really tell. Where do they sell pelicans? I don't know. Somewhere in town. Like, off to build that. This is the first camera I ever feel like I bought. This is the first introduction to vlogging that I ever had. The Vado HD. The Vado H I bought this in New York City because I was like, I want to document this tattoo convention. And I took yeah. it and everybody ate mushrooms and nobody wanted to be filmed. And I was just like, uh. yeah, this shit hyped me up. I had a little tripod connect. Hyped me the fuck up. It has a HDMI port even. We should plug it in. Give Sit. Up. Oh. Shake. Now. Sit. <coughs> you gonna get it? <coughs> Alright, go get it. You got it? Alright, bring it back. My bad, good boy. <coughs> good boy. No. Some of this shit. No, I'm gonna edit it all. I think we should have music then. Just yeah. so it's on in the background. Yeah, yeah. When people are watching. A beat. Yeah, but you should also hear the talking. I like when you can hear the talking. Yeah, I'm not talking about silence or anything. I'm talking about talking here in the background. Yeah, I like that. Everything needs to be put together to be produced. I'll have to edit that out. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Alright. Why right. <laughs> the clubs are off? <laughs> so I can, oh, I can say whatever I want? No, it's no. official. I want this on YouTube. Sometimes I wonder when God was making me. Here we go. Did he do it in layers like this with different markers? What if you come out. back, you know what I mean? If you like, what if you die and then like restarts and you come back, right? Just pretend like it's like Mario Brothers, you know, and you come back and you start over. It's parts of you maybe have enlightenment that you didn't have. Like, like how's that motherfucker so good at that? You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, like naturally like. Cause like in Mario, you die 10 times in the yeah. first level by the end. Maybe you got so good at it. Maybe this is the Matrix and we got game genes. I don't really think Facebook's on its way out. Facebook no, chat, I'll fuck with Facebook. Facebook's turning into like, it's sort of taking a turn like Tumblr. Like people are posting like just pictures of word. Like they're not making their updates anymore. They're finding. That's what I think is like kind of sad. There's been a lot There's of no original ideas. ideas and someone will post the word insecure. You can do it. I said I got you when I touched you up. You say that in the car? Mm-hmm. Oh, you're too quick. You're me? I'm getting both. They've got perfect by this guy and I'll get you there as safely and quickly as we possibly can. Yeah, I'm calling my mama. <laughs> so what? Don't judge me. <laughs> Where is the 
with Pelican Place. You said I'm going to make you buy Pelican Place? Yeah, because what's going to happen is I'm going to get in there. I'm about to go on tour. I'm going to see some like hot new Pelican. Like not so much for my camera gear, but more for like, you know, my clothing and stuff. Like I a nice... Pelican for your clothes. I don't know, just because they're nice case. Like they, you, it's just good. You can fucking toss yeah, them. Heavy. Yeah, but there's light. There's Pelican air now. Yeah, this shit is like, I've seen some of them. I want, where are all my shoelaces? Do you know? Uh, they're probably in one of those boxes. Could they be in that boost box? They're in a boost box. I think they're just going to be randomly in that boost box. Well, Hold it, on, I'll fucking I'll it, reveal Watch, I'm going to, yeah, you reveal it. But I could be right. Or those could be the insoles. It has something in it. It's the insoles. It's a pair of fucking Woodwoods. Oh, shit. <laughs> You're a silhouette of a silhouette. You Turn on the light anything. right next to you, maybe. Weird. Oh. Now, now I'm not a silhouette. Your tag's out also. It's been revealed. Oh, shit. I want pink laces for these shoes. Oh. Huh. It's funny. There's no pink laces. Like, I'm really... No, I have some somewhere. Yeah. Or even yellow laces would look good in here. But these are really thin laces. That on feet was great. You even got brandy. Because first you start reviewing a shoe and she's like, oh shit, he's reviewing a shoe? Like, yeah, I'm like, he's just not, you know, it's not the fucking end all sale of it. Found a shoe that he likes and he's talking about it. She's like, is he going to do on feet? Like, I don't know. And then it comes out, she's like, oh my god, oh, get, oh, come on. Yeah, she fell right into the trap. Oh my. Speaking of traps, Alex is looking at a car right now. Is it a trap house or a death trap? The car is just a trap. Money trap. The Solera, the old lady one? Yeah. Is it the head gasket? Because I, I had the same feeling. No, it was here. something else. Some you people know said I shouldn't talk talk about cars like Teddy stick to shoes the head gasket is not the whole engine the head gasket is literally the most critical seal in the engine critical you know what the word critical yeah. oh it's critical the only okay. hey you been outside please don't muddy up another fucking pair of shoes yeah That's it? It's done? Or he just no. showed? Oh, I can't uh, fucking tell. I don't, you're like, look how good this looks. I'm like, okay, it looks amazing. I, what am I saying? It ain't easy, Ern. I get right? it. It ain't easy. I get it, but I was just wondering. You don't right? understand, too, like doing a last minute pop up, how stressful it is. To... Yo, get off my fucking shoe, dude. To the Pelican store. Those of you who don't know, Pelicans are uh, hard cases that protect your gear. It's all sorts of shapes and sizes. They're waterproof, sandproof, everything proof. Cameras, guns, and bongs. And what? Bongs. Bombs. Bombs. Like, Bombs. The last airplane on the way to LA. I was telling the guy next to me the story about what, what I do or whatever. Yeah. And I use terminology. It was crazy. I was like, then we dropped it and it blew up because I was on an airplane and I was, people were looking at me and I was like, oh shit. My slang is not appropriate on the airplane. Plane slang. You know what I'm saying? Plane slang. Hey man, plane slang. You can't say drop. You can't no. say bomb. Bomb, bomb, bomb. Bomb, bomb, bomb. Are we out? I guess. Uh, don't cross the perimeter. You are staying home. We'll be back soon. Go play. Yellow. What'd you do, Ern? What did I do? Why is this not bending? Turn, wait, turn the wheel. I've turned it. Turn. It's not pleasurable. The talk of the day, Eminem and Machine Gun Kelly beef. Asking me what I think about Machine Gun Kelly and Eminem is like asking me which school shooting is my favorite. It's all tragic. <laughs> Turn right onto yeah, it's, it's an out there joke. I have to put comedian uh, in my profile though because people don't understand that I'm funny. But it is true. It, they both seem like school shooters. Seems like two school shooter types arguing yeah. in the hallway. I didn't listen to Machine Gun Kelly's response though. I did listen and I honestly, also did I didn't hear what Eminem said about Machine Gun Kelly. I haven't heard that. Eminem Machine Gun Kelly beef. I'm sorry, I couldn't find Eminem You gotta stop Machine talking while Kelly. I'm talking to Siri. Eminem Machine Gun Kelly beef. <laughs> it says, sure, here's some Drake, Kanye West, Lil Wayne, and Eminem. Is that a time to play this? She's like, Eminem and Machine Gun who? Here's some Drake. Oh. MJK tweeted Eminem's daughter Haley was hot as fuck, which he then said has resulted in him being blackballed in the industry. M's daughter was 16 at the time. Okay. Eminem addressed the 2000 tweet and not alike. If you want to come with me at your sub, Machine Gun, I'm talking to you, but you already know who the fuck you are, Kelly. I don't use sublims and sure as don't sneak this, oh. but keep commenting on my daughter Haley. That shit right there is a little weird because you're a grown man. MJK fired back being mad about something I said in 2012. Took you six years in a surprise album just to come with a diss. That's what he says in his new one. So wait, this entire beef is basically lyrics are, you commented on my daughter, so don't do it anymore. And his diss back to him is, it took you six years to respond. Yeah, and what, you're washed up now, you're an old man, why do you care about anyone in the fuck machine gun, Kelly? Because You can go see her as aunt, she works at Target up the street. Oh. Up the street. Yeah, she'll tell you all about machine gun, Kelly.
You smacked that hoe. Yeah, yo, this is for Eminem. Ah, I gotta take the day off, Larry. I gotta take the day off. Man. Oh, he beefed with Josh on some some behind the scenes backstage at a festival shit. shit. He acted like a real dickhead, and Josh oh. tweeted some shit at him. So yeah. we're not fucking with him. No, I'm not fucking with him. I've never been fucking with him. Shit. This track is a, you know, it's a decent diss track, but to the fuck care. Now, you throttled again or something? No, mm. no, no. This is the worst internet. This is where I always lose everybody. Brat. Fuck Machine Gun Kelly. All right, so everybody on my fucking Facebook shit that. Every, they don't even listen to Machine Gun Kelly. We're like, yo, I think he got M on this one. I'm like, who are you? Got three kids and fucking, I, you, I never see you talk about rap. All of a sudden, M. Oh, that's. I need your face. Oh, fuck. Hold on. <laughs> Sitting back, let the beat ride on him. <laughs> got him. Turn right onto West Arkansas. <laughs> and we're back. You missed your turn. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God, Ronnie. Hey, somebody grab me some clippers. This fucking beard is weird. Talk, talk from a rapper paying millions for security a year. Damn, I'm sick of them sweatsuits and them corny hats. Let's talk about it. Bill man, let's talk they about it. They auto-tuned the fucking... Wait, this is it. It's this is a weird place. Yeah, so they're Atlas Case. Yeah, man. It's, it's kind of hot. It's not bad. It sounds like Eminem, though. Not really. Only, be on, only when he's doing it on purpose. I gotta be honest, I haven't listened to that much machine gun code. Me neither. But I think the big deal about this is that it's the first person to ever just come at Eminem. Like, no one's ever tried to diss. So everybody's just looking yeah. forward to Eminem's response. Because now Eminem's getting old enough yeah. where dudes are like, all right, bro, you're, yeah, dog. you're beyond your prime. Yo, dog. People always ask me why I got Fade Away tattooed on my knuckles. Is it better to burn out or fade away? Dog, just fucking fade away. Don't fucking, don't yeah, stick around like long that. enough for the fucking burn. 1555, that's lighter than what I have right now. I think that's what I have. That's the, that, how much is that? I might cop one of those too. Doesn't say. Dude, this huge one's 250. Yeah, not bad. I mean, yeah. like something that I can sit the heat down in and not have to fuck with it. 1615, that's probably bigger. I feel like the heat could sit down in that. We just video our life if that's cool. We're looking at uh, my first question is, does it come in colors or is it only black? They do come in colors, but we have to order them. Okay, cool. They, they have the yellow so. one. So they do have color. Right, in that bigger size there, that one there, we've got orange and yellow here. Yes. Let's yeah, yellow. yellow. That's all yes. we wanted. We're done. I'll take the yellow one. Nice. With, with foam. Foam insert. Okay. Oh, shoot. Okay. It all works. It was sent to us by mistake. So nice. instead of paying to send it all the way nice. back, we're like, just hang on to it and sell it. Some guy will come on a yellow one. Take nice. That was dope. That wasn't expensive. They had a color I wanted. Love that. I love that they didn't order. That's the hype shit right there. Yeah. Though. It only lasts a moment. Oh, yeah. would she pick up this white car for Alex? <laughs> it's the car she wants, is it not? Like, oh, sorry, boo. They must have sold your whip. Yeah, they out there burning Nikes and shit, dog. Yeah, dude, all these rednecks and yeah. shit are cutting their Nike swooshes off yeah. their socks like anyone gives a fuck. You know, if you vote with the dollars you've already spent, you're just kind of burning. I, first of all, though, I think it's cool that Nike just putting that Yeah, yeah, there. for sure. I mean, yeah, any company yeah. should have signed him like a long time ago, regardless of anything. Yeah. People who are upset about it don't realize if you're a racist or you're fucking non-understanding of protest, whatever the fuck, whatever. Like, you're creating these situations where companies get to use things like this as marketing because that's one thing that people are upset yeah. about like well they're kind of using this whole situation now as a marketing ploy like of course they fucking are a bunch of lawyers get in a room and fucking weigh out the fucking pros and cons at the end of the day corporations are all they're gonna do what they're gonna do it's cool that this one weighed out the fucking odds and we're like yeah let's do it just do it it's a great ad all the lawyers in the room like what do we do about colin and then someone's like just do it <laughs> <laughs> comes on the screen all fade to black but oh shit fade to black whoa ted chill um but no i think it's it's yeah. cool Cool. Anytime a company does something Stay to just kind of right? socially be like, yo, everybody shuts fuck, even though people aren't shutting the fuck. They'll stop no. buying Nike for this week. Nobody boycotts anything for that's, a long that's run my, week. Remember my... when no one was going to buy BP again? Fuck. I've been boycotting Nike, man. A bunch of yeah. followers, dog. Yeah, seriously. Clout chasers. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, Under Armour's about to blow up. <laughs> Fuck Nike. You want an Under Armour anyway. It's so weird. It's so weird that people are so entranced in sport and all this shit that they think any of that shit even matters. It's one thing to be a lover of sport. Okay, cool. You love sport. Yeah. Another thing to be interested in politics. All right, you're interested in politics. Then you start mixing all this shit together. My favorite team needs to align with my political beliefs. God yeah. damn it. It's just like, what in the yeah. f all? Like, that's my point. Should yeah. be in sports to begin with. All right. Well, then take the fucking national anthem out of sports. It's hard to stand. 
standing up at these goddamn baseball games. We at least get an Amigos remix. And you got, it's like a weird judgment thing. Like it plays at the baseball game. You yeah. don't stand up. The person next to you is looking at you yeah. like, uh, Hey, you ain't American. Yeah, what's wrong with you, boy? Uh, I'm Italian. Hey, I'm fucking 30% Italian. I'm Remember Maury Povich and oh, shit? You God. could buy the fucking tape afterwards. I'd like to, a copy of today's Montel. Please write yeah. to. You have to write in for it. You think there's one guy there who got fired one day? Like, hey, Larry, no one's ordered an episode in like six years. Uh, we're going to have to let you go. It's Ricky, Ricky Lake's revenue stream just cut in half. People are always worried about jobs and shit. You know, they're always like, oh man, can't do away with fucking cars. You get self driving trucking because we'll do away with jobs. Did anyone care yeah. when they were downloading movies about the Blockbuster employee? Yeah, no, wow. they didn't. So don't fucking come crying to me. Yeah, fucking Blockbuster employee. There's only one Blockbuster left in the world. Did you watch that little Vice documentary yeah. about it? It's gonna come back, dog. People are gonna yearn to go to Blockbuster. It will. It'll come back in some vintage. I'd much rather have shit. my argument over what I'm gonna watch tonight in public instead of on the couch. <laughs> Yeah, let's take a look at the MTV Cribs. Let's move the uh Alex is back, it's been better. Well that's good. She yesterday. Oh shit. It's getting empty there. Look at this son. Nice. Wardrobe. Got pants and organized. T-shirts. So it's separated by t-shirts that I created. And then I have a revolving rack. These bins are all also full of clothing. So every week or so I have a revolving rack to pick from. To omit things that I don't want to keep anymore. So that I can create it for sale and a for donate pile. Oh yeah, then there's the jackets. jackets. But then there's also the upstairs closet too. And the shoe room is still full. I have a lot of clothing. It's a little bonkers. Yeah, that's it. Go! And then I'm gonna go get this haircut. Word, yeah. I'm, scruff should have you that other stuff soon. You hear that, Scruff? You like stay up till 5 a.m. before you go on the show. Yeah, should have stayed up till 6. We got fire chicken nuggets. I know, I got a new case. Nice, I like that it's yellow. I know, me too. Is there a new car here? Yeah, I can see it. It doesn't look as old as I expected it to. Oh! oh that white? Little sports car, little two door dog. You no, know Kodak says he's all about that two door. It's Tim and Shorty. Oh, sporty. Pinstripe. You hate it? I don't hate it. The AC works great. It's got a good stereo. Oh, the alarm system works. All right. Hey. Will the headrest come out? She's showing you that. Solera Ted. <laughs> Laid it up, dog. Oh, yeah, dog. There's your thumbnail. Cop in the wheel. It's got clicker locks, even. Get out. Say, how much does he want for it? I said, well, she's asking 16 and says she'll take five off for the repair that it needs, but I bet I can get it for a thousand. He goes, oh my God, get it for a thousand. Okay. So he didn't look at it. He said, no, but he talked to me about all of a sudden. He's like, no, you're talking really fast. Place I took it to, they were going to take two hours. It hasn't been looked at, folks. Let's all remember this moment. Let's take this moment. Let's remember this moment. Only the future. We'll tell this story. I've noted the moment on the vlog that the mechanic has not looked at the car. We will <laughs> reference back to this tomorrow afternoon <laughs> when the transmission falls out. Whenever she's freaking out about it, I'm just gonna be like, hey, hey, can you at least the click the locks work? Somebody might pull you over and say, ma'am, yeah, no, check the bill of sale. They check my bill of sale, and I have this bill of sale. And they me. can't do shit. You can't touch me, cop. I got no. a bill of sale. Yeah. Cop trying to stop me. Good, no, fuck me. I don't know what to do about those mids that someone in Canada said they can get them for me because they're just. Damn, that joint is burning like shit. Let me see that. Alex is going to register a car. Ern has gone home. Waiting on Scruff to send these finals for the Detroit pop-up. This is the hard part, because Sager, before we could just make the shirts, and even though it was super stressful, now it has to be planned a little different, so I have to have this shirt turned in like yesterday. Last night, middle of the night, I kind of freaked out. Didn't like the front of the shirt at all. Actually, didn't look well executed, but the signature and chain, which is kind of cool. Not a bad idea. But once it got on the shirt, it didn't really match the back, so I had to redraw the back, or redraw the front at midnight. Sent it to Scruff, God bless him. Stayed up all night finish that and now we're finishing coloring so that we can get it out to friends and family because if you can't make the Detroit pop up if you want the shirts that are dropping in Detroit you can get them because we're putting them up for 24 hours uh, and then we're gonna put the order in which is gonna meet me in Detroit basically spending the rest of my after answer the emails from Detroit for people who are trying to get tattooed if you're still interested Teddy tattoo me at gmail.com i'm gonna be in ferndale tattooing at signature tattoo my homie dan rick owns that shop yeah so i'm gonna spend the rest of the day and just kind of work on drawing probably gonna have to go buy a sound bar because alex is bringing her tv for downstairs and probably make a beat or something i don't know just do some shit. Y'all have a blessed day. If I don't check back in, it's in the morning. I'm gonna eat. Oh, I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go throw the kettlebells in the yard first. <laughs>
done. Friends and family, you have emails for the Detroit drop. So you are the people seeing the Detroit shirt. First, three T's and one hoodie. Uh, I gotta go get a sound bar later and uh, I gotta edit. I'm gonna get started on that. I'll see you guys tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Love you. Peace. That piece was terrible. Peace.